Hello everyone, it's SK95. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time we finished off Keep Future Connected and as you saw before I started this actual talking, when you can beat the main game, you get unlocked several features. Let's go over those features first. I should mention about what happens if you clear up the entire data of the game. You can clear it and use the clear data to continue New Game Plus. New Game Plus is an incredible gimmick that you're going to want to do. First things that carry over is all your party members' abilities will carry over. Your levels, arts, and party affinity. That means you don't have to max the party affinity anymore. Second is money carries over. Key items do not carry over, but all other items do carry over. Achievements automatically carry over. However, achievement trials do not, the affinity chart does not, and the quests do not. Keep an eye out. When you complete the game the first time, and only the first time you do it, you don't have to complete it the second time, Shulk gains the true Minato. As a result of this, if you try to do New Game Plus again, this Minato will not be available to you for subsequent playthroughs, so keep an eye out. First and foremost, New Game Plus is available now. This is the only time you can do it, and as well as the fact that you only get the one Minato. Now, New Game Plus only allows you to use your clear file. It does not allow you to use any other file, so don't bother. Let's go into New Game Plus and check it out. Want to carry over a server your disk data and start a new game? Yes. Now, as you notice, I'm going at Minato 3. Bye. So, when you start New Game Plus, only on the first time you ever do New Game Plus, you're not completed if you want to do this, you have Minato 3. All your gear is gems are reset so that way you're back to normal, but Minato 3, as you can tell naturally, has a 100% critical rate. Yeah, insanely powerful. Nothing can beat it in the game. Shulk's Minato has the power to fell gods and shape the future. It naturally has 75% critical rate. However, it has less physical defense than either defense, but we're fine with that. Let's get our gems back up because I know for a fact I have better gems than that. I was wondering why the heck am I worrying about it. I'm way too powerful now. So, yeah, essentially speaking, you basically go through the game being stupidly powerful. Watch this. And yeah, the Minato 3 is in every cutscene and everything else. You can also view the heart hearts. Another thing is, a big thing, I'm pretty sure it showed on the screen, but I will talk about it anyway. Not heart to hearts, but I'd like to talk to the affinity chart. The affinity charts reset, however, as you notice, are max affinity still. You essentially have all your affinity max at the end of the game if you manage your affinity before anything else. That's what I did, personally. This will make my life a lot easier when I'm especially going through the heart to hearts that I need to record again. Because, unfortunately, I lost that recording, so guess what I have to do? So, a bigger thing, a big, big thing that's available, now that you have access to this, is I'll cut ahead to when we get access to, say, past the Mankind Attack. I'll be right back. I should also mention that your Collectopedia is naturally maxed out if you manage to complete the Collectopedia, and as well as any other pages. This means you cannot collect the rewards twice, so don't think you can do that. So, another thing is that since your characters are maxed out, you can actually mess around the game a lot more. You can even bring Minato 3 to kill Metal Face in the first fight. In fact, I'll cut it at that point. The irony of wielding a godly weapon versus seeing Zanza's weapon. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh right, Fiora. I might as well talk about this. You're probably wondering what the heck Fiora's level is. It's level 11. If you want to see what your level is technically for Fiora in expert mode, Fiora does not have any extra mode experience besides just getting the extras. This is literally the only time this happens, so do not worry about Fiora entirely at all in main game. You can actually mess with her looks if memory serves me correctly. And change her appearance out. So, she pretty much has the equipment that you gave her, have at the end of it, and starting equipment obviously there if you got rid of them. So, there's nothing else too difficult besides that. Anyway, that's what like the Shulk. Another question you're probably wondering, should I worry about quests I will miss? No, not really, because you basically already maxed out and all the gems that you get early on are useless, so... Yeah, don't bother. Also, this spares me the trouble of getting the hard hearts I need to get. Heh 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 the god sword. Yeah, also all the affinity coins reset, so... In case you're wondering about the affinity coins, yeah, you're gonna have to grab all of them again. Not exactly too bad, all things considered. Whatever the case. Oh no, a mech on. Whatever shall I do? Oh wait. By the way, in case you're wondering, yes, they still attack you even if you're way too powerful. No, I am not kidding. It's actually where the only time the game actually causes the enemies to no longer be able to worry about level difference. It is very, very weird. I know for a fact. 
Alright, so after Tepper Cave, yeah, pretty much nothing really changes all that much. Cutscenes still operate the same way. Nothing else too much changes. There is, however, a glitch you can form. I remember that one off the top of my memory. So I'm actually going to cut ahead till we get to that glitch point. Because I know for a fact you can do it, and it actually is really stupid to get an easy level up. Actually, I'm not going to spare you all the trouble on this. Honestly, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to stop the bonus video here. And next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to be doing the super bosses. So, see you all next time.